Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the Cool Peeps Top 10 show. Today we are talking about 10 things you can do in Tanzania. Please remember this list was compiled in no particular order. We begin, of course, at number 10 with the Ruaha National Park. In 2008, the Ruaha National Park became Tanzania's largest park. It is home to large herds of buffalo and gazelle and has one of the largest concentrations of elephants in Tanzania. Because it is the least accessible park in Tanzania, the landscape remains relatively untouched. Stone Town is at number 9. Little about Stone Town has changed in the last 200 years. Majority of homes in Stone Town were built in the 19th century when Zanzibar was one of the most important Swahili trading towns in the Indian Ocean. Some of the historic buildings are now museums and tourist attractions. The town also has a couple of interesting old churches of historical significance. At number eight, we have the Mafia Island Marine Park. The Mafia Island Marine Park has coral gardens, an abundant variety of fish, and a relaxed diving atmosphere. The island draws divers and snorkelers from around the world to the undersea world, protected by the Mafia Island Marine Park. The Ngorongoro Conservation Area is at number seven. Located between the Serengeti and Lake Manyara, this conservation area is home to the famous volcanic Ngorongoro crater and is one of Tanzania's most popular wildlife viewing areas. This huge volcanic crater has a permanent supply of water which draws thousands of animals who stay in this area rather than migrating. Visitors come here primarily for viewing large animals and bird watching. At number six, we have Visit Zanzibar Beaches. The island of Zanzibar, also called Unguja, is a major holiday destination in Tanzania and known for its beautiful beaches. Part of the Zanzibar archipelago, which consists of the islands of Zanzibar and Pemba, has some of the best beaches in the world. Climbing Mount Kilimanjaro is at number five. This mountain is Africa's highest peak and Tanzania's most iconic image. Mount Kilimanjaro can be climbed at any time, although the best period is from late June to October during the dry season. At number four, we have Visit Zanzibar's Night Market. For the culinary curious and people who love history, Stone Town is a magical little corner of Zanzibar and the night market offers a glimpse at an expansive and appetizing history and culture. After sunset, the once calm sea walk is rapidly filled with chefs clad in white hats, setting up gas lamps, grills, and rotisseries, spreading out their wares across rows of tables. Witnessing the Great Migration is at number three. About two million ungulates, over a million wild beasts plus zebra, gazelles, and eland ramble across the sweeping savanna of Tanzania's Serengeti. It's one of nature's greatest spectacles and the highlight of any visit to Tanzania. At number two, we have Visiting the Rock. Once the site of a fisherman's post, the rock restaurant sits perched on top of a rock off the eastern coast of Unguja Island in the Zanzibar archipelago. It rises above the sand on Michamvi Pengui Beach at low tide but becomes an island at high tide. Depending on the time of day, people arrive on foot or by boat. And finally, at number one, we have the underwater room at Manta Resort. In this room, guests are anchored in place and they have submarine views of the ocean life around them. They can swim, sunbathe and stargaze on the seats deck above the room. And that's all we have for you today. You already know the drill. Don't forget to like this video, share it with friends and of course subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be back with a new top 10 list for you.